Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We got a big section of scripture today. Let's let's go straight to it. First Samuel 5 verses 6 through 12. But the hand of the Lord was heavy on the people of Ashdod, and he ravaged them and struck them with tumors at both Ashdod and its territory. And when the men of Ashdod saw how it was, they said, The ark of the God of Israel must not remain with us, for his hand is harsh toward us and Dagon our God. Therefore they sent and gathered to themselves all the lords of the Philistines and said, What shall we do with the ark of the God of Israel? And they answered, Let the ark of the God of Israel be carried away to Gath. So they carried away the ark of the God of Israel. It So it was, after they had carried it away, that the hand of the Lord was against the city with a very great destruction, and he struck the men of the city, both small and great, and tumors broke out on them. Therefore they sent the ark of God to Ekron. So it was, as the ark of God came to Ekron, that the Ekronites cried out, saying, They have brought the ark of the God of Israel to us to kill us and our people. So they sent and gathered together all the lords of the Philistines and said, Send away the ark of the God of Israel and let it go back to its own place so that it does not kill us and our people. For there was a deadly destruction throughout all the city. The hand of God was very heavy there. And the men who did not die were stricken with the tumors, and the cry of the city went up to heaven. So they've got the ark. We saw what happened yesterday morning. There's major cities in in the nation of Philistia, five or so major cities. These are those major cities. And the ark is taken to each place. In each place, something terrible happens. And now tumors break out. Uh, emeralds, I think the King James Version puts it as that. Golden, well, we'll see the golden part coming up tomorrow. So they are finding it's too hot to handle. God's things are too hot to handle. Yes, God's things are too hot to handle. If we don't respect his holiness, if we don't respect his purpose and his will, it's going to be too hot to handle. Even at the best, he is holy, and, and what are we? we? We need to follow his instructions exactly and the Lord will bless us for that. So anyway, the Philistines have already found out how now we we don't want the ark. Send it back to its place. It's not for us. This is just too hot to handle. And so this is the result. All this destruction, people getting tumors, some dying, it says. And now they summon their leaders to figure out what in the world to do. We got to get rid of this thing. What can we draw as a lesson from this? Well, one thing we can realize is that be careful what you get, you know, be careful what you ask for, you might get it. Philistines wanted to defeat the Hebrews, and they did. And, of course, then they came up with the ark. So um, they won, but look at the cost. They are finding out that they are out of their league. The God of heaven is not a God to mess with. He's holy. The Philistines are going to learn this lesson here, uh, and at the end of this sequence, we're going to see they've, they're doing better in some respects than God's people will be doing. At least they're learning some lessons they should learn. Sometimes we become overly familiar with God's things and we don't see the holiness. We don't see the necessity of treating God's things careful. We need to learn a lesson that God's things need to be treated in a very special way. And let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, the Philistines have figured out that they've bitten off more than they can chew. Good for them that they now want to get rid of this and uh, that it's recognize they're in over their heads. Many times, Lord, we don't recognize. We've taken steps that are anathema to you, steps that bother you, that, that bring your disfavor upon us. Help us to be true to the facts, true in doing your work. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So may the Lord help us to be faithful. Help us to treat God's things with holiness and respect and to realize we're dealing with holy things. The Philistines are learning it the hard way. May we not learn it the hard way, but may we learn it and prosper with your guidance because of it. God be with you today.